Okay, so now that we're more familiar with our line commands, let's move on to something a little bit more advanced. We're going to start making services from the lines. So I'm just going to make something really simple, uh, something like that. Just a nice little uh, rectangle for us to get started with. Now I'm going to use the zoom command so I can see it from all four ports. And the easiest way to make your lines into a surface is using the planar surface command. Now if we just type in up here, planar SRF for surface. And I'm just going to change the viewports here, or view mode. You can see that we made a nice surface from the line that we had. Now the planar surface command only works when something is flat and it's enclosed. So um, anything that is not flat, so the, if the line isn't flat, say this one is up a little bit, the planar surface command is not going to work. So it has to be flat and the line has to be closed. Now something cool with the planar surface command is that it can work. I'm going to draw something simple like that. I'm just going to offset this really quickly, change this to 50. So if we have something like this, we can also use the planar surface command if we highlight both of them to make something from the space in between. So as you can see here, I use this line as well as this line to create the, the surface in the middle. So you can obviously create some really cool shapes just with the planar surface command. But remember, it has to be planar and it has to be enclosed. I'm going to delete those for a sec as well as this. Now what happens when the aforementioned scenario pops up where one of the dots or the shape that we made is not actually planar. So if I have something like this, oh, that's, maybe make this go up a little bit like that. What happens if we have something like this? It's not planar and we want to make a surface out of this. Well, in this situation, when it's not planar, but the line is still enclosed, we can use the patch command. So if we type in patch over here, it'll bring up a nice box over here. We can turn on the preview to give us a nice idea what it's going to turn turn out as, but I'm gonna, just going to go over some of these options over here really quick. So sample point spacing, we're not going to worry about too much. Uh, I really, really actually changed that, so you can probably just leave it on one. Uh, and then what the U and V span does is if we turn off automatic trim, you can see that the patch command basically just makes a sheet according to what your shape is. And Rhino basically helps you trim that if you turn on automatic trim. But if you leave it off, it'll show you what the sheet is actually looking like. So for this line, Rhino has made us a sheet with 10 U span and 10 V span. That's how many of these ISO curves go across the surface. So there's 10 over here and there's 10 over here. Now we can change this uh, as we like. Obviously, the more you do, the higher the detail is of this sheet, but uh, the more processing power it'll take for your computer. What the stiffness is, is how malleable this sheet is. If you imagine this to be a sheet of metal, it's how malleable this sheet of metal is. Right now we have it on one, which is super, super loose. If we turn it on to something crazy like 500, you can see that the sheet gets noticeably stiffer. So sheets like this have a bigger variance with our line, but since our line is a very simple one, Rhino has no problem actually figuring something like this out. We're gonna leave it on one, uh, and we're gonna turn on automatic trim. And yeah, so it's gonna make a nice surface for us according to the line that we have. Okay, so this is if you don't have a planar curve, uh, but your curve is still enclosed. I'm gonna go ahead and delete that and we're going to go and explode this. Now, what if we have something mm, even more weird? What if we have something like this? Let me just make this into a little bit more points so that I can manipulate it. Oh, I didn't mean to copy it actually. Delete the one on the bottom. Okay, so what if this curve is like that? And we want to make a surface out just from these two curves. We can use uh, the sweep commands. So the sweep commands, essentially you have one rail or two rails that you're making an infinite copy of a line with. So pretend that this is the, the rail that we want or the line that we want for this line to make infinite copy of. So it's going to sweep this line across this line infinite amount of times to make the surface. To demonstrate, let's go type in sweep one. Okay, maybe just type in sweep one first. Let's 
it's better to show this way. So it'll, it'll ask for a rail. And this is our rail that we designated, the slice curvy line. Now it's going to ask for a cross-section curve. Now we can make the cross-section curve look like anything, but for now we're going to keep it nice and simple. This will be our cross-section curve, so the thing that's going to be sweeped. And we're just going to hit enter. Now as you can see, we're going to leave all these uh, just on the regular settings, uh, but depending on different projects, I might change these. Uh, but most of the time, we don't have to worry too much about this. Now, as you can see, it sweep that one line an infinite number of times to create this nice surface. Now, there are some uh, folding over here, uh, probably because there's an angle to this other line. There's an angle to this line, so when it came over here and it met up with this point, uh, it kind of sweeped back on itself. But no matter, we'll adjust this for our next one. Now, what if we have something like this? But let's say that these two lines are not actually the same. So uh, maybe this line comes down, and this one comes down a little bit, and then this one goes up, oh, this one goes up a little bit like that, and then we'll have this point come down a little bit. Now, what if we want to like, make surface out of these two lines? So we know we want this line to look like this, and we know we want the other side of the uh, of the surface to look like this. Now we can use the sweep to command. But remember, we need a cross-section curve. So I'm just going to draw in something like that really quickly to connect the two ends. And now we're going to try doing this. So we're going to type sweep to, and it's going to ask for a first rail. We're going to select our first rail, and then ask for a second rail. We're going to select our second rail. Now it's going to ask for a uh, cross-section curve. This is our cross-section curve. I'm going to hit enter. And again, we're just going to leave these on, uh, but you can rebuild these curves, maintain the height, refill the rails. Uh, usually if we just uh, leave it on, it should be OK. So quickly, there we go. We made a surface with one side being the first line we drew and the second being the second line we drew. So those two are the sweep commands. We have sweep one as well as sweep two. OK. Now, one more scenario. If we don't want to use something like the cross-section curve, what can we do? We can try also using the loft command. Now, the loft command, again, is super, super useful when you have something uh, like two lines or three different lines that you want to loft together. What that means is it'll build that, uh, it'll basically build the surface from the two lines that you have, or the three lines, or whatever lines that you have. Now the thing with uh, the different thing with sorry the difference between loft and the sweep is with sweep you can do things uh, such as oh let's make a something like that now if I wanted to do a curve like that and I wanted to use this curve to make a more interesting shape oh this one this one and this one. If I use that curve, I can use that basically use a curve and it'll base this shape around this curve. Now this is useful for sweep two and sweep one. You can draw whatever curve you want and it'll use that curve to sweep across the two rails or the one rail. Uh, whereas if we simply use loft, it will basically just make the curve the, the, the side straight like that. Now if these two lines are kind of uh, zigzagged a little bit, we can see that it's going to do basically the same thing, uh, just make a nice straight line. So it's going to have a super super simple solution to the problem that we gave it if we do the loft command. Now both of these are super simple and super super useful. Uh, I find that I use rail and patch a lot more, sweep sorry, but loft is also uh, something that a lot of people use on an everyday basis. Okay, so now that we've gone over, just remember planar surface is for anything that is planar and enclosed. Patch, we can basically have this not planar. Uh, it's still best to have it enclosed. Uh, there are some ways you can do it without having it enclosed, but it'll look uh, really wonky. You want something like that to be enclosed. Uh, then we have sweep one as well as sweep two. So. Uh, if you have two lines or one line that you want to sweep a cross-sectional curve with, you can use sweep one. If you have two curves, you can use sweep two. 
Uh, now, if you don't have a cross-sectional curve or you don't want any fancy style, just a nice straight line for the surface, we can also use the loft command. Okay?